Hey, what's going on my YouTube friends? It's Richard, founder of Short Term Rental University and Airbnb Superhost. Today's video is about the new performance tab that Airbnb rolled out and I really want to encourage you to please subscribe to the channel now if you haven't already because that helps us get in front of more people who want to grow their business and become better hosts. So what is it? Well, clearly Airbnb understands that we as host entrepreneurs need more knowledge and more data and more resources to grow our business and to perform better and to be better hosts and to monetize more and to scale and grow. So I believe their performance tabs are measures for us to start to think about. I think it's very early, but it's a step in the right direction. Okay, so where Airbnb has placed this tab, it's called performance and it's all the way to the right of your hosting dashboard. So go ahead and click on the performance tab and there you will see five new tabs with sub tabs within each one. So the first tab I want to talk about is called occupancy and rates. And then within occupancy and rates, there's three sub tabs, occupancy, average nightly rate, and rev par. The first two are pretty straightforward. Occupancy is going to show you what your occupancy rate is for all of your different listings. The graph is going to show you them combined if you have more than one listing. And then underneath that, you'll see each of the different listings and the occupancy rate relative to your market. So you see how you're doing relative to your peers and competitors. And the same thing about your average nightly rate. It's going to show you how much you're making relative to other listings in your area. And then again, the chart is the combined total of all your different listings. So if you have six listings, the chart shows you all six listings. So the most important the important tab here is RevPAR, which is really industry parlance for revenue per available room. So again, Airbnb is signaling to us that we are now business owners and entrepreneurs and we need to start thinking like the hospitality and lodging business because that's the key metric. A KPI in the lodging industry is RevPAR. What is your revenue per available room per night? So my overall thoughts is this is a really great place to start and for people that aren't familiar with these metrics or following these metrics, this is a really useful tool on the hosting dashboard to get you acquainted and familiar, start following it, start monitoring it, start to make goals to improve your rev par and your occupancy and your rates. I mean, these are all really important things, but I don't think it's enough, right? Like I think it's a great starting point, but I think if you spend time Googling or watching videos or participating in Facebook group, you can get really, really granular on this and all of that stuff really matters because what gets measured gets acted on and you take action and increase your performance. So the next three tabs have all been there. Visibility, ratings, and earnings. Visibility is really important. It's how many people are looking at your listing. What can you do to enhance your listing? That's a marketing component, maybe new photos, maybe new description, maybe new headline, A, B, test all that, but you want more visibility, not less. Ratings. That's a guest satisfaction of how you are as a host. That's what determines whether you're a super host. And I don't know exactly how Airbnb uses that in their SEO algorithm, but you would imagine that people that have higher ratings get shown first versus people that have lower ratings. So that's really important. A lot of lessons to learn from that. Read what people are giving you as far as feedback, both private and public, and just make it better. And then the third tab that's really important is earnings. That's going to dictate how much profit you make. The more money that comes in versus the more, the less money that goes out is your profit. So those three tabs have been there, but really important that you familiarize yourself and monitor them. The last tab that's there is called opportunities. And this is Airbnb's sort of algorithm to try and help you get even more visibility and more bookings. And I think generally speaking, it's helpful, but every time I click on it, I get all excited about all these opportunities, join the work, join the family, join this. And then when I drill down on it and I actually want to do it and I want to be part of that collection, it turns out that there's some reason that I can't do it. You know, maybe it's stairs, so I'm not child friendly and I won't take that liability. So I just am not part of that. So, Again, I think it's really helpful. I think it's worth going through the process. If you can get included in some of those opportunities and some of those collections, do it. But don't change your business and your liability and your approach to what it is that you're doing well just to be part of that collection. That would be kind of like ass backwards. So just don't do that. So overall, my thoughts on the performance tab is it's a really great step in the right direction. Airbnb is paying attention to us as hosts. They're trying to give us more tools. They're trying to grow us. They want us to be more successful, more profitable. And for that, I applaud them. So what's the one thing everybody watching this video can learn about? That what gets measured gets acted on and find your own KPIs. The industry uses RevPAR. So that's a really good place to start, but you might find something that's more meaningful to you personally. Just because the industry does it doesn't really matter. Realize that the industry may have a hundred hotel rooms and so the revenue per available room is really important. But if you're renting a whole house, 
five bedrooms doesn't really matter versus four bedrooms versus six bedrooms, you might care more about your occupancy of your house or you might care about your occupancy of your whole portfolio, right? Like maybe each one of our individual listings becomes what we consider a room. So my point is you have to manipulate this stuff, you have to make it work for you, you have to be thoughtful, but you have to monitor it because the KPIs are what's going to dictate your profitability, your success, and your ability to get to the long-term goal and your why. So I hope you like this video. I'd love to hear your comments. What KPIs do you follow? Maybe there's something that we should all be paying close attention to. would really appreciate you listing those comments below. Like the video, share the video, and please come join us over at the Facebook group at Short Term Rental University, where 12,500 hosts post comments and tips and KPIs like this every single day. Thanks so very much, and happy hosting.